Hello everyone, I am back for a 3 and 30. Let me get my watch going here. Um, <clears throat> so, okay, so um, I'm up to T is for tickets, and what I have, I I did a little trial one run on these two just to, to play because I wanted something to do. <clears throat> and I have pre, I had some of these tickets, these are from Amor Fabriques. And I have this Mondo roll here. Um, so I have those. And I just pre-backed them because they're very thin paper. And I backed them with some um, Nick the Booksmith B paper. And I also have them in some other colors. And they have, um, like, they're coming in a variety of interesting colors. And they have these cute little stamps on the back. And this whole roll, it has stamps on the back, which I just find interesting to think about how did they do that. And I have some pre-cut B things that I may or may not use. Um, these are these are from a variety of sources. There's Nick the Booksmith, there's Artie Mays, there is um, Mrs. Cog, and there is Nick the Booksmith, Artie Mays. My Porch Prince, I think, there. And then I have some of these tickets. Um, these two are Artie Mays, and I have backed them. I had printed them out on copy paper accidentally, so I just backed them on some coffee stain dot paper, which is kind of thick. And then these are not backed, but they're on slightly thicker paper. So these are both from the Artie Mays collection the bee collection, and these are the foxglove collection, but she has bees in the, her foxglove collection, so there's that. And then the other thing I did, which I'm kind of happy about, are I just went on Google Drive and opened a Google Doc and typed in some words, and then I went and I found a font that I found, um, you know, kind of cute and fun, and so this is what I have. I have Buzz, Paul, and Dance, Waggle, because that's how they communicate. Busy Bees, Honey, and Nectar. I thought I had Honey spelled properly, too. Maybe not. And then what I did was I took my um, ink sponge, and instead of you know doing what we normally do, I just kind of pounced it. And it left that kind of pollen-y look to it. So that made me happy. I was kind of happy with how those came out. And then I have... A bunch of fussy cut bees. Most of these fussy cut bees are from My Porch Prince bees. I think it's the kit is bees and birds and bees and birds and the bees or nests and birds and bees or something like that. But it's My Porch Prince and this is my favorite one. Um, here, let me. It's a little bumble butt. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. I love that guy. Oh, and the other thing I did. So my son was in here and he was playing his Xbox with his buddies and they talk. So I had to find some things to do that didn't make any noise. <clears throat> so I made these. These are from teeny tiny, um, uh, what do you call them? Ruffles, fabric ruffles. And it's from the Hackney and Company Tell the Bees fabric collection. And G Care, uh, made this brilliant video on how to make teeny tiny ones and what you do is you get the um, you get the fabric this is the fabric and you scrunch it up and then you get it all scrunched up and you sew down the middle and then you work your way out and then you just cut in between the sewing and it's brilliant it works really well to make teeny tiny ones because can you imagine trying to do that through the the foot of the sewing machine just like that be impossible and the last thing that I pre did is I made these so I don't have the a Sizzix machine the, you know the die cutting machine um, but I love this in my journals so I do the cheat method where I just cut I just punch these holes down the side and then make little slits down the center so I'd like to do that. So I'm kind of thinking of T is for tickets, but maybe also some tiny tags. Hold on, I just dropped something. Coming back, here I come, sorry. 
All right, so I'm a little nervous that my phone is going to stop because, oh my gosh, sorry, five minutes. I gotta get going um, because the memory is kind of full. So here we go. All right. So I also really wanted to use my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher, lots of D's in that too. Um, because it's new and I haven't played with it a lot, which was why I did those test ones. So let me um, make do some of these. So I love this this green trim. I also have this B trim. I hadn't I hadn't used this B trim yet, so that works. And these are just like cluster embellishments. And then these two words, the hive and the honeybee, I think are from an Artie Mays kit. So I can do those there. And where is my little bumble butt? Oh, I've lost my bumble butt bee. Oh, there's my bumble butt bee. Should be a bee day. All right, so there's that. Um, and it feels like, I know with what everybody, they all say you need to um, just use one staple. I, I don't know if I can do that. I don't know if that's my, my speed for these. Honeybee, the honeybee. The honeybee. All right, so I think I'll staple my, um, Oh, maybe it should go like this. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, I see, this is where it comes in. They tell you not to overthink it. Those other ones that I did came out really easily. All right, so maybe that's what's throwing me. I'm going to take a piece of this purple flower trim because I love the color purple. And I don't get to use it a lot. And you know, bees and flowers, you can't have bees without flowers or flowers without bees. So I'm just going to enjoy that and my honey bee statement and my bumble butt. I think I'm going to use my tiny attacher and attach those, those together. And then... I think I'm going to glue on my bumble butt. There we go. That is making me smile. And that's what it's all about. Okay. One tiny thing. That could actually, I could use that. Look at that. I could use that to embellish um, one of those cards there. All right, so another ticket. Let's look at these tickets that I backed. I'm going to take, um, take one of these and cut it in half. And I'm just going to trim these little bits off because I hadn't gotten to that before. Huh. So I hope all is well. Today is Saturday. And we had yesterday off and last night they contacted us and let us know that we're going to be out of school for the entire next week. So all four of us, my husband and I teach at the same school and both of our kids who go to a different school, but their school has called it for the, at least the next week, they're saying. Boston Public Schools have canceled school for um, <clears throat> the next month. They just, they just went and had and, and, and they're, they are, well, you know, they're a big city. So they are operating with an abundance of caution and are going to um, take the whole month off. Okay, so I'm going to embellish the top of this and not so much the bottom ticket because I have it in my head that I want it to slide into one of those slots. Ooh, I can use my tiny attacher again. Okay. My son is waiting for his driving lesson people to come get him. 
Sammy, are they coming? Because <clears throat> he's still on the phone. Busy bees. Okay, so that goes there. Sammy, what did they say? Uh, he's going to be here in 10 minutes. Okay, good. He's 16. He's learning to drive. He's very good at it. Okay, so that, I'm thinking, can slide right in there. And this top bit will help prevent it from sliding too far down. So that's two. Makes me think of the count. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, which way is up? All right, so I'm going to trim this down. So anyway, yeah, so <clears throat> we are definitely out of school for this entire next week. And um, wouldn't be surprised if we're out for longer. Uh, several systems have already called it for the next two weeks. So we'll see what happens. They are, um, I know they're very, there's a lot of concern with for the people who um, we have, the district that I work in is not the district that I live in. Um, <clears throat> and the district that I work in has done doing a really good and thoughtful job of thinking ahead about all those families who rely on schools for feeding their kids. So they are, um, they have thought to, um, They're going to have uh, a, like, a fee food distribution. So uh, from 9 to 10 in the morning, on as long as we're out for the duration of this, whatever, however this long this lasts, people will be able to sign up and come and get um, food for their kids. Uh, breakfast, I think, is what they're going to be serving. So that was good. I was proud of my district for thinking ahead. I hope that my school district catches on. I mean, my, the one that I live in catches on and does that. Uh, we're, the town is slightly, the town I live in is slightly wealthier than this town that I work in, but still there are plenty of families who, you know, rely on that. I feel really bad for the families with small kids who can't stay home by themselves yet because what do you do? What do you do if you are a working mom and you need to work? And you're not, you don't have sick time off and your kid is going to be out at home for weeks on end. I mean, that, that's really a dilemma. I mean, I'm really fortunate in many ways because one, I, um, am going to be at home with my kids. We have the same schedule. And two, even if I weren't, they're both uh, you know, nearly adults. My daughter's 18, my son is 16, and they, you know, can stay home and take care of things. Whether I am here or not, no, nope, that's too much. Um, but I need something behind that bee to make it stand out a little bit because it's just kind of fading into the background. Um, something purple or pink or pretty. Ooh, ooh, what's this? This is pretty, uh, but I don't know if it's going to be hard to make it pop out. Um, I'm looking through all my fibers over here. I've got, this one's pretty. I always loved this one. Um, so yeah, so families with young kids who need to be supervised, what, do, what are they going to do? There we go. Uh, maybe some fabric tack for this one. <sighs> I mean, obviously the goal is to keep everybody healthy and safe, but there's still serious economic concerns for people who need health care and who don't have paid time off and who don't have, um, you know, any savings to fall back on because their jobs don't provide them with benefits. I mean, there's just so much. This is just, you know, this whole disaster is just going to be real, revealing so many problems with our system here. Okay, so I know that's bulky, but again, the my idea is that I want it to be bulky so that when I slide it in, because I'm not doing the little pockets on the back, 
that will be able to um, not fall through. So there's another one. <clears throat> Pardon me, I still have this little frog frog in my throat. All right, so now let's do some things that can slide in more easily. So there's there are these, and I could do these as twosies. And I could actually just probably ink those tickets up. Maybe I'll just add a word. Wiggle. I'll add wiggle to that one. Waggle. It's the waggled. Oh my gosh, look at me. Um, and how about the hive for this one? And what else? It should have something else. Um, waggle. Do I have a waggle bee? You know what, I could just, where's my, where's my ink? Here, here's my ink. I am so enjoying this wild honey distress ink. I just think it is so pretty. It looks, I, he should have named it pollen, flower pollen or something, because I think it is the perfect color for pollen. And maybe I'll ink the edges of this word to give it definition. To give the definition, definition. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is my still filming. Seems to be. Seems to even be in pretty much on screen. So here is a waggle bee. And the hive. Um... How about a little bit of lace at the top of these? Oh, you know what? I have I have this. This is so pretty. Oh, I love this one. It's getting it's getting thin. It's getting scarce on the um, on the spool. But I could use a little bit as a as a tab at the top. Okay, so I'm going to glue these down. It only needs to be tiny because these are tiny tags. Tiny ticket tags. Oh gosh, hard to pick up. I am not good with teeny tiny. I just, my eyesight isn't what it used to be. I use <coughs> the cheaters from the drugstore and I have them everywhere because without them, I really suffer cannot see and I'm not sure that I even have the right strength on them either so I'm sorry I pulled that close to me so that I could see so there's that oh and you know what I glued that down but I could also use my tiny attacher I'm so used to not having this I don't think to use it there you go Tim Holtz tiny attacher it is such a chitchy little <laughs> staple it's so cute Okay, so I'm going to glue the, down the waggle and this waggle bee. On my word waggle. <clears throat> Don't want to cover up her little head. Because she's going to come and waggle the directions to these other bees. And then I will tiny attach this to here. Okay, so we've got a big thick one, because I've got two of those. So I've got a big thick one and a thin one for each of these. What else do I have over here? I've got this one, the honeybee. And I have these two that I made earlier. I made hum with the little, little bumble butt and the world laughs and flowers. I think the quote is supposed to be the earth laughs, laughs and flowers, but I'll go with it. Poetic license, perhaps? Will you allow me that? Okay, and then 
here we go. I'm going to purple up this one. Okay, so there's the purple flowers. And here is a piece of purple. Another piece, I don't know, understand why this purple ribbon got all twisted up with the string. And some of that, I'm going to purple it up. And some, I have some purple fluff. Uh, let's see. A whole pack of purple here. Um, this is very fluffy. Here's some pink eyelash. Uh, this is some purpley eyelash. Just like that. And then maybe that going down the front. And that can be my tiny attachment point. <clears throat> and I just lost my tiny attachment. Here it is. It's not a small thing. Uh, okay. I need to go kind of diagonally to catch all that stuff. Okay. Ooh, and it's kind of fluffy. And maybe I need a little butt bee. Bumblebee, bumblebutt bee. Here's one of these bees. It's a cute little beehive. I can stick that behind. So it's just sticking up it, like it's in the flower garden. I kind of like that. I'm going to try that. Okay, I don't want to lose my pin. That has happened. I don't know if you can hear them. My daughter has some parakeets. They're the newest newest addition to my, our family. I can hear them. I don't know if you can. Um, but they are loud and they talk. They, they went from being completely quiet, never saying boo, because I think they were scared, to like complaining to each other all the time. And I don't know if it's that they're not happy with the service or if they're just squabbling with each other or what it is. But oh, that's cute. That'll be a cute little decoration. You know, I really do want to do something with these. With these. So let's see. These are the, this is one that I have backed. This is a, oh, you know what? Look at this. So this is the Artie Mays one. And it should be able to just fold do a zigzaggy back and forth and then I can ink the other side and that can be like a little writing spot. So maybe I'll do that on here with a tiny little ruffle so that it you can grab. So I think I'll do it across the edge here. And that'll be like the little grabby tabby. I didn't do a perfect job with that, did I? Oh well. That's okay. And then I'm going to add something else to the front here. It's not going to be too big. I think I'm out of my cute little tiny bees. I think I'll put that on. I don't mind snipping off the bottom here. And I think I will ink the edges. 
So the, the My Porch Prince ones come with like a nice little gray edging so you can kiss cut it um, without it being white. Uh, but it also is a very muted gray, so it's easy to ink over. Appreciate that. There. So we'll mix and match our kits, and that will be something else that can... All right, have fun. Drive carefully. He's a good boy. I think right now they're all excited, he and his buddies, that they're going to have the next week off. I'm not sure they realize that it could turn into a longer time and that we're not going to be driving them to the movie theaters and we're not going to be taking them to the mall and we're not going to be doing a ton of socializing amongst he and his buddies. I don't think that has sunk in yet. They're still kind of going, oh, yay, no school. Woohoo. And he and his, he's got a really nice group of friends. They're all good kids. But, you know, they're 16-year-old boys. So it will, it will sink in. They all went to school yesterday. It was the only the district that I work in had yesterday off because they were um, deep cleaning. Uh, but now all the districts are home. I would not be surprised if we all wound up at home for several weeks, um, which will be interesting. I know everybody says, oh, well, there's just concerning, but I have students who's, who, I mean, I have a couple of homeless students and I have a student, I've got a couple of students who have no internet and the libraries when the schools close, the libraries in those districts close. So it's not like you can just say, oh, well, go to the library. Uh, so I don't know how how everybody's going to gonna be able to even participate in distance learning. All right, so I'm up to seven minutes. I definitely have made my three, but I'm just going to keep going because I need to fill up the, the tiny tags. All right, so there's this one. And maybe I will uh, do some individual tags on this. This one has a teeny tiny bee. I'm going to keep that one. I'm not going to use the clock one. I'm not, I don't know, clocks. The, I know a lot of people use clocks and typewriters and things, but some of the industrial um, images just, they're just not my cup of tea. Okay, and actually I don't even use tickets that's that much. This is a big, this is quite a stretch for me because I'm not a big ticket user either. Even though I have them and I've wanted to use them, I haven't. So this is nice. It's forcing me to expand my horizon. So thank you, Tina, for this. Um, I forget what U is. I was just thinking the alpha, I'm finally getting down towards the bottom half of the alphabet. Um, but you, I forget what you was. I'll have to look it up. I mean, that's what I do before each one. I go and I find, what did Tina do? And then I go, oh, well, I wonder what, um, oh, there's a clock on that one too. I'll skip that one. I'll do those two. Um, what did Tina do? And what did Rachel do? And what did, what did the, everybody else who's doing this do? I'm just, I'm just rummaging right now through my other images. These are cute little banners from the Artie Mae set. These are backed with that, um, you know, maybe they don't need a whole lot. Maybe they just need a, a topper. Maybe they only need half a topper. Just so that you can grab. That's honeycomb. So let's do... Hello everyone. So it's about two hours later. 
I had a bunch of interruptions. The phone rang and it was my mother-in-law and she needed help figuring out how to oh, do some phone technology stuff. And so we got through that and then some other folks stopped by. And so here we are sitting down and I just wanted to kind of go over what I did. So here is, here are some of the little things that I made. Um, that was one of my prototypes, the world lost in flowers. There's the honeybee tag with the bumble butt. So cute. And there's another little altered tag. And then this is um, a foldable Artie Mays. Um, it's a banner, but I'm going to use it in this thing. So here's another one of the tags that from Artie Mays had. And then that one says Waggle. And this one says Pollen. And they're going to go with this in a journal. And this is uh, a bee journal that I'm working on. And this is really cool. This fabric that it's a soft covered fabric. And this is canvas that is impregnated with uh, beeswax. So it's waterproof. Um, and it has, it's very stiff, it has very cool feel. And then the um, fabric on the inside of this is the Crafts Consortium tell the bees series but it's fabric and I have uh, an Edith Holden big tag this this paper is this one's already made but this is Edith Holden so I've got a big tag inside the front pocket there I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do in the front and it's gonna be one signature and this is that Hackney and Company Crafts Consortium tell the bees paper which I just love. So it's still, I'm still working on, there's gonna be something attached there. And I have just a few things in here um, that I've kind of stuffed in where I want, thinking I want it to go. Um, so that's a cute little pocket tag. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have that go there or not. And some things that I've made in other 3 and 30s. And let's see, there's the center. Oh wait, this isn't the one. Right, I haven't put this one in yet. Right. Right, so this is gonna go, this one's gonna go in here. <laughs> that's gonna go in there. Um, so that's one of them and I'm making two of these. So this is the one that has, it's narrower and it has like, it's gonna have a closure. I'll put a little thing there with a uh, closure. And then this is the one <laughs> making two of these. So this one I did differently. It's a little bit wider. Um, it has a pocket in fabric pocket. This is that same series. Um, so there's a big old tag there, journaling card. And there's going to be a corner tuck and tag there. And some ether fold in. And that's a big old um, tag and pocket that's going to go there. And I've got a glassine bag. And that's a pocket that needs going to need some tags to go in it. Like I'm just, I'm the, I'd say I'm about mid process in this. That's another page from that paper pack. And a flower page. And then this has a whole bunch of little um, tag journaling cards in it and tags. And that I'm actually going to attach to this bit here. So on the other side of that is that glassine bag. So that will wind up attaching there. Um, and then here is what I made. We still on screen, more or less. Oh dear, what a mess! What a mess here. Let me push that up a little bit. Okay. Um. So, this is that 
faux Tim Holtz slotted thing um, that I make. I make them by hand. This is this paper is also from the Crafts Consortium Tell the Bees. This is from the six inch pad. And then, so this is an Artie May set of tickets that I just kind of inked up and folded accordion style with a little teeny ruffle that slides into that one. And this is just an altered tag. It says Buzz. And that's a B from the paper pack. Um, and that slides in there. And having the ruffles on them helps prevent them from sliding all the way down. And that's an altered tag that I made. It's a cute little B on it. And that slides in there. And again, because it's bulky on top, it won't slide behind. And that's, ooh, I should ink that up. <laughs> Sorry. So there's my honey uh, homemade dauber thing out of a Lamarca uh, champagne cork. And I just, it's got some uh, Velcro glued on to the bottom and it just holds on to the, um, the thing, the pad very well. So I'll just ink that up so it's not so stark. And then that will slide in behind there. And once again, it won't go all the way down because I, well, that one's a tall one, but I also have fabric across the top. So that is the, the, um, resolution to, and that's a cute little glassine bag. Actually, that's, this is, um, the been decoupaged, uh, on a napkin decoupaged onto mm, tracing paper with, uh, some other things on it. I love this. That looks so cute. Okay, and that's Crafts Consortium paper. So that is the wrapping up of my <laughs> 3 and 30. Uh, T is for tickets. Uh, video. One of these days I'm going to get through an entire video without interruptions. We'll see. But thank you for watching. Thanks to you for hanging out and sticking by me. And I hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.